This was the hardest question, I think, in the whole paper. And it was question one on functions. Ouch. Um, the worst answer question, for, sh- for sure. I, 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 I think when I corrected this year, I don't know, maybe like 10, 20 percent of people got this fully correct. So um, when I explain it with arrow bars and bounties, it'll make total sense. Right. So I'm going to just assume that um, you don't know what functions really are and returning things because because <laughs> according to the, the 270 papers I marked, no one understands this. So um, let me open up my version, which I've put in some comments. You'll notice my variables here, my local variables are, are a bit slanty here. Look, why is that a slanty and this one's not? Well, I've gone up into tools and under options, uh, I've gone highlight local variables as in they're different. And that's what they were kind of catching you out here is that this a is different than that a. So this is a function, which basically means, um, hey, Python, if I ever say this magic spell, I cast a spell. That's the spell. There it is. Do this code. If I say this magic word, run this code. That's it. That's the basics of a function. Now, a step up from that. Well, it's a bit more complicated because I can have some components. I can, if you now think of a function as a box, I can I can have multiple holes into the box, A, B, C, whatever, whatever are, they're my, my parameters into the function. There's just one hole going into this box. Some maths happens in the middle and then there's a hole out of the box. Sometimes there's no hole out of the box. You, you know, you just print up to the screen, but this is actually going to, Whatever uh, comes out of here in return is going to go like this. So like, I don't know, I haven't I thought about it for a second. But let's just say when I all do this, 67 comes out. This is going to disappear. Bing. See func A and 67 is going to be returned for my function. Right. So let's start. I've got five arrow bars and I got them in Drogada in Ireland. I got bounty bars, 10 of them. And I got those in Scaries and they were overpriced. I print how many? Arrows I've got, and I've got five, which makes sense, right? So to help me keep track of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the debug mode, and you can see inside Python what's going on, right? So the first thing it does, it goes, oh, you just told me about a function. That's a just in case. Right. Good to know, human. I won't do anything. I will print nothing. But it's good to know that if you ever say funk, I'm going to do this. Noted. Right. It acknowledges I've got five. It's acknowledged that, and it prints A, which is five. You'll actually see it return none here because it thinks the print is a function, which kind of technically is, but don't remember that. Um, you can think of it as just print. Right. Now we get to the function part. Right. So it now has to open up a brand new universe. And I'm going to describe this as I fly to Vegas because what happens in functions stays in functions. Unless it gets return flight home, it's there forever. Right. <laughs> so it's literally like every time you open a function, it's a magical portal. Stuff goes in. Some time passes and then some things come out of it. Who knows what happened on that other side of the portal? Well, not the rest of your program, you know, <laughs> it doesn't know about this. So let's let's use the debug to keep track of it. Right. This function um, it doesn't have to have an argument, but it's, it, it's got a little um, slot in it for the for A to go in. OK, and we know that A is five, so we're just going to put five in there. So as you go through it, it goes A is five. Cool. So it's going to carry that. And that basically is like me flying to Vegas, but I have luggage. <laughs> I'm allowed to have one slot for luggage, arrow bars. So I bring five arrow bars with me. I'm not allowed to bring my bounties, you know, because it wasn't it wasn't like A, A, B. It was and bounties are probably, you know, contain um, deadly poison. So I wasn't allowed to bring those on the plane or maybe they're considered explosive or too controversial for an airplane. And you see in the function here, I've taken my five arrows with me to Vegas and you it's it's down here's my trace table down here a is five all right so I've landed I've still got my five arrow bars I've got zero bounty bars I wasn't allowed to take those on the flight now it says a is equal to a plus one so I get one more Las Vegas bounty bar hooray they sell them in the airport so I'm gonna get six now in total the five from Ireland and the one from Vegas I, I'm dying for bounties so I'm gonna buy 15 um on the Vegas Strait. Is that a place? I don't know. Let's say it is. A 15, all I do, I don't even go to the vending machines. The vending machines? That's what famous, it's, Vegas is famous for its vending machines. I, guess, I don't know what they're called. Um. Anyway, I, I just buy 15 bounties in Vegas because why not? Now, how many 
arrows and bounty bars do I have? Well, I've got my six arrows and I've got my 15 bounty bars. But these have nothing to do with the bounty bars that I had in Ireland. Sure, they're back at home, you know. I might as well have left them in Drogheda because I wasn't allowed to bring them to Vegas. So um, let's see, what am I returning home from Vegas with? My six arrow bars, hooray. My five that I brought over with me fighting one I got here, right? So um, what happens then is this just disappears and gets replaced by the number six. So you can see um, that B is now six. Six gets assigned to that variable B. So let's go back. Print A, and this is what got people. People were like, A, isn't that how many arrow bars? No, 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 no. No. I, I may have returned A, okay, but it was just to here and got assigned to B. Nothing was assigned to to A here. These are this is this is what I was able to bring home from Vegas. And I said, that number, which was six, is now how many bounty bars I've got. Okay? Because well, that's because possible <laughs> Python just did. So when I print A, it's still this original A. Why is it that? Because I I, I never I never overwrit any A's. Like if it said A equals something, then I would get to update A. But A is not being updated. Do you see A equals anything there? No. No, you don't. It hasn't been updated. So A is still five. Look. Yeah? And then um B. B was updated from my function. So B got updated to 6. Yeah? There you go. And print 6. So the answer is 5, 6, 15, 5, 6. Right? And if you uh, want to do that, you just click the debug button and you can go through it. There you go. So A is 5. B is 10. There's 5. The 5 goes into the function. It goes through. It gets updated to 6. Then uh, I print 6. I print my 15. I take my six back. The six goes in there. I print A. A was still five because A never got updated. B did get updated. Look at it. Yeah. And uh, so B is, is six. And that is how it all works.